Graz first impression. As I'm walking towards to my accommodation, <laughs> let me like share you. with you how this city looks like. My first impression. Let's walk around and get lost together in the city. My GPS said I'm on the right direction. Let's go. My plan was to come to Graz by train from Vienna, but as I got to the train station, I found out that the ticket is too expensive. And at the end of the day, that makes me to buy another ticket that before I get to the stop, as, in, as a novice, because uh, I had only like 40 minutes to 45 minutes I left to quickly get to the stop of the police bus and I missed it. So, hey, this is how it is. Some of the experience of a traveler. <laughs> you can never run away from this. Welcome to Graz. Seems like the main center. like the real center of the city. It's beautiful. Hello. <laughs> See my sisters. I like this place. It's nice. It wanted to look like that's one of uh, Bruno of uh, Czech Republic, but this one is more bigger and more wider, even. Like when you are coming from the train station of Bruno in Czech Republic, 
he wants to look like when you're walking to the old town he wants to look like that of Bruno in Czech Republic but this one is more even more bigger more wider and even more beautiful Kind of tired. I actually like it because I have to walk through the center. I guess this is the center. I guess this is the center. And I have to go like this. Wow. I bet I go this way. This is the center. Yeah, I I have no doubt this is the center. Hello, excuse me. This is the old town? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, I'm in the old town. Yeah, I'm in the old town. I still have... Like... 
two kilometers to my host. Interesting. Yeah. And this is grass. All these places, I don't really have idea about all these places. It is just because of football that I knew most of these places, but I've never been here. So it's the first time exploring most of these places, raw and learning how they really look like. Interesting. Wow. This whole town. Let me go and drop my bag. And then the sun will be even more. Uh, and by then the sun already going down to a, a much better degree that it would be more favorable to vlog from almost from any angle it will be awesome I'm going to be on we are very close very very close to my accommodation Oh, a lot of bars, restaurants. It's a quite beautiful city. I like it, chic. Nice. It's calm. It's nice. Oh. Someone is just coming from this way. So, and there with me, if you see that, if you find out that you are not really seen, uh, whenever I turn the camera to face the sun, and they are with me. But later in the day, it will be more nice. Like now, I guess you cannot be able to see more clearly. I buying some stuff there.
grass. The weather is good. I feel like the sun is very, very close to me. Nice. That's good. <laughs> She's very determined. Good. Nice. <sighs> Welcome to grass. She plows two euros. I want to get some sheep clothes. Get some cool sheep clothes over there. Actually, it's not that really, really far where I lodge. I was like thinking, oh, I don't want to walk so much or take the public transport to my accommodation but hey it's not that far it's not that far because it i will always walk through the main center the whole town and it's in and it's very beautiful so you see all these beautiful buildings and cool places to hang out along the way so before you know you get there like I'm like 1.1 kilometer now to my accommodation. So I don't even really feel it that is very far. But initially it was almost three kilometer. But I didn't even really, really feel it. So it's nice. The sun is just like on my face and it's nice. It's good. It's better than cold. And go. I can take the tram one or seven. That will take me there. But hey, no need. It's nice seeing the city 
having a great view of the city, walking along. And the city is beautiful, I like it. Grass is beautiful. This is how you're going to take the stop is here and if you want to take the, the tram it's like this you have to be careful because like a bicycle are coming so it's good but it's kind of a little bit tricky hello it's, yes i'm filming if it's not <laughs> okay <laughs> they, are, they are shy yeah they are camera shy they are very camera shy and they are very reserved in Austria. Except you have to like go, go, go. Uh, like the way I try to get some interviews in Vienna, I have to really go out of the city centre. Hello, excuse me, are you from Austria? Yes. Good, can you share with me in 30 seconds in my YouTube channel? What is so unique and so special about your city grass? Ooh, um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Share with us, we want to learn, yeah. my subscribers want to learn too, <laughs> I want to learn too, right. and viewers. Um, well, we've got very old architecture. Okay. And lots of um, red, what are they called? Red tiled roofs. Okay. Which are very nice to see from, from the top. It's not oh. a very hilly city, okay. but there is one mountain i guess you call it that's one over there um yeah that's kind of outside of the city but there's one in the center ah it's this really, way really nice. okay so i should you should definitely check that out because you've got a great view of the whole um skyline pretty much oh you are the first uh, austrian that can be able to uh share stand and share our opinion and the uniqueness of our city and to express ourselves direct in the street so respect to you girl thank you here we go Oh God, thank you, Lord. It is a long day. Hello. <laughs> it's a long day. And uh, finally, I'm already arriving where my hostel is. I guess I am not, I am like 700 meters, okay. Still 700 meters. Okay. A lot of things to see. So much trouble in the world. <laughs> so much trouble in the world. I hope there will be less trouble in the world very soon. <laughs> as, man, as long as man leave it, troubles continues. Man will always hug and behave himself. Oh, 
Yeah, man. It had been an awesome ride. It had been an awesome time. It had been a great walk through the center and bumping off and bumping into some locals, even those who cannot be able to express themselves in front of the camera. And those who, hello, how are you, brother? Fine, fine. How are you doing, brother? Fine. Fine. Oh, where are you from? Rwanda. Nigeria. Rwanda, uh, Nigeria. That's Nigeria. Where are you doing here? I'm coming to travel, travel to like exploit the beauty, the beauty, to share the beauty of yeah. this uh, city and this country yeah. with my uh, to my subscribers and also viewers around yeah. the world. What's your name? My name is Joel Tamara. You are going to I see me in your in country. <laughs> No, in, uh, I'm living in Austria, but... Uh, yeah, one day when I, I will be... You there. Yeah. You live in Nigeria or you live in Europe? I live in Europe. I live in France. In France? Yes. Tu parles français? Oui, je parle français, ça va. Ah, super. Merci, <laughs> Moi, toi, tu parles français? Je parle français aussi, oui. Comment ça se fait que le Rwanda, tu parles français, là? Moi, je, je suis... Avant, le Rwanda était... Colonisé par les... Les Belges, la Belgique. Par les Belgiques, ok, ok, ok. okay. Et... Yes, yeah, enchanté quand même. Enchanté. Bon voyage. Merci. <laughs> Merci. Bye bye. So guys, if you like this video, give me thumbs up, give me thumbs up and let me know what you think about grass. If you have been to this city, what are your experience? Or what is the best place for you to hang out in this beautiful city? So guys, comment below and see you guys on the next one. Ciao. Very clean, very clean city as well. It's okay. It's clean. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.